Um, hi, everyone. Welcome to the, uh, the June 23rd, 2021 GitOps Working Group Events Committee meeting. Um, on the line right now is Christian Hernandez, Damani Corbin, and yours truly, Scott Rigby. Um, I think we have a little bit of a light, a light uh, um, attendance today, but that's cool. I'm going to go ahead and post or paste the link to our working notes and docs. This we've already said this may be a short meeting, but recording recording anyway. You know, just because that's how we do. Um, Oh, thanks, Christian. Awesome. So um, one topic I wanted to mention or ask about was, should we discuss, I mean, since this is the events, uh, we're also thinking about broader events. I know the GitOps Working Group is not organizing GitOps Guide to the Galaxy, um, but would it be worth, at least we could mention it, right? We may not. We'd be planning it here, but yeah. we could have mentioned that we're doing it. It just so happens that Christian and the Red Hat team do this. One of the recurring events is GitOps Guide to the Galaxy. A podcast? Uh, it's stream, I guess, Twitch. I don't know what kids call it nowadays. I, I think okay. there's going to be a new thing. I don't know what twitching, I guess, but yeah, live <laughs> stream, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Um, hmm. yeah, so, um, yeah. yeah, I don't mind discussing it. Yeah, we could at least announce it. We could at least announce it, I suppose. And then if there's anything else that we need to discuss in terms of the events committee, we could get into that. Yeah, I, I don't, and also I, I don't think, um, yeah, I think that's fine to be promoting it that way as well. I, I don't mind. And if anyone just in the, in the, in the, in the greater open GitOps um, community wants to come on, talk about something about GitOps. That's, 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 I, that's open as well. So I, I'm always looking for guests as Scott knows, I'm always poking him as well. Um, <laughs> so yeah. So anyone else in the community that, that would, you know, maybe watching this and wants to come on, go ahead and ping me on Slack. Yeah, that exactly. Yeah. So in fact, we, we had already noted that the GitOps working group Twitter handle and, and just the group in general, the events committee, Part of its purview is to announce. Oh, you know why? Um, CDCon. Yes. Is today as well. So yes, that's CDCon is today. Uh, yeah. That's probably the light right. attendance. Yep. In fact, I almost thought maybe I should have canceled this. Now that I think, now that I think about it. Yeah. Now that I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> I was in meetings most of the day, so I was not able to attend CDCon. Yeah. So that's why it Same just here. skipped my mind. So maybe we just keep it really short in that case, and and we just pick back up later, but that's, it's a good thing to note. So, hey, look, events committee meeting, one of the events that we promote is CDCon. So actually, um, it's a good thing it's just us here. Um, maybe we can, maybe we can even just encourage everyone to get off and join whatever's happening at CDCon right now. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. It is, it is going on. I actually did um, hey, the event yesterday. Hey, Robert. Um, I did a, a talk yesterday about uh, GetOps uh, okay. at, at the, the GetOps Summit as well. So, um, yeah. So that's probably has to do with the light attendance today. Yes, and is there anything is there anything super pressing that we want to at least note or put as an action item or whatever for for the next time that's pressing for on your minds for today for the events committee for the get up to work. I I do. I'm gonna I'm gonna note it here. Okay. Um, I think um, for specifically for us for for um, for for GetOpsCon. LA, North America. I know uh, Dan is was talking with the CNCF um, events people, and um, uh, I'm just wondering where we are because I know he wanted to get the CFP out um, relatively quickly, and I, I know it's just there's probably a lot of um, planning that needs to go on on, on his end. So I just kind of wanted to update, I guess, from Dan um, about uh, GitOpsCon. Yeah, so I'll put that at the action items for next time. Okay. Um, I, I just want to mention, I, I've been talking for an hour, I had a presentation. So <laughs> uh, I, I just want to mention the, the, the idea of having some sort of, um, uh, call it a package or whatever you want for, for having like community get up stays or, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, because the more that I think about it, I'm probably going to have, you know, 
have one of those events here in Norway, most likely. Uh, so I've, I've been thinking a lot about that. And that, um, I think we talked last meeting, right? Didn't we? If I, if I remember correctly. Yeah, did you, um, what, what did you call it again? Uh, open GitOps days? Yeah, open or yeah. That, so like, I saw you're talking about like, um, kind of like almost like a meetup type of thing. Uh, yeah, if it's a half day event if, or, or whatever people want. Uh, just yeah. you know, facilitating that, having something, uh, you know, uh, graphics ready for presentations, and gotcha. Uh, this is this is how you should do CFP. You could do it this this way or this way, you know, etc. 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 Having like that as making it as easy as possible for people to uh, do their own events uh, in their town or you know country. In in my case. We're so yeah. small. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So um, uh, I think that's, yeah, we mentioned it before, Scott. I don't know if you saw mm -hmm. any of the recordings. You may or not been there about like having like a press kit or some sort of kit where if I someone think... wants to put on something, it'd be nice to have um, something like that. Yeah, I, I agree and love the idea. If you're talking about when we were discussing um, the Brazil, or excuse me, the, it, yeah. The Brazil Community Days, I think. Yeah, is. that that kind of kind of tied into it as well, um, you know, and that's great, and and I think we should support that one, especially as you know, uh, like he explained, you know, Latin America having some issues getting info across and having these kind of events, you know, it's kind of vital for them to to do something on their own, and we need to help them. But at the same time, having something that would make it easier for for anyone, be it uh, you know Latin America and or you know here here in the Arctic. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a great idea, I think. Absolutely. You know, one thing that we haven't done is is make a GitHub project for that. I'm thinking that you know, um, one interesting note. That's happening on the side of this is is um, uh, Leo and I are going to be collaborating really soon on. We're basically Leo's like going to you know as one of the co chairs as well going to help like it is stepping up to um, collaborate on um, uh, some of the work that's been ongoing and in um, in boot in really forming the, the open GitOps project. You know, the GitOps working group was, group was bootstrapped. There were a lot of pieces in place that needed to be um, handled for that. Um, it was the tr provisional name for the sandbox project that then became, actually got named uh, as open GitOps. And now um, there's a number of pieces of, there are a number of items inside of the GitOps working group repo that actually belong in open GitOps primarily. So we've temporarily addressed that by creating GitHub community health files and pointing to those things. Um, but now we need to, and, and a lot of that work has already been done by separating them. So we now have a charter and a governance doc and so on. Um, but we now need to kind of do some of the work to move that over. And I mentioned that in the context of this call because, um, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the, the press kit um, is something that we could, sorry, the GitHub projects that we've used to organize these kinds of things in the past have all been in the GitOps working group. But it seems to me that since we're talking about this for open GitOps, we mo we probably should create a GitHub project there. Does anyone have any kind of objection to that? Or does that seem like it would be functional for this group? It seems perfectly natural. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry, I hope that wasn't too much context, but it seems like it makes some sense. Okay, I get some thumbs up. All right. so. Look, um, if anybody has a real problem with that, who's not on this call because they're at CDCon, then you know we can always just move it or do something different. It's not really a big deal. Um, we can easily, you know, but um, but that way we could actually start just temporarily sketching the sketching out what needs to be done in note cards in the project. And I think once we get some confirmation from other people in the the events committee that hey, this seems like a good place to do this and that looks great, we can convert those to issues and whatever yeah. else. Does that sound right? Yeah, yeah, and no, that's a great plan forward at least. Okay. Yeah. 
and it gives uh, broader visibility for asynchronous communication. So. That's what that's what I was thinking. And so like no one's really left out and they're not kind of forced, even if we keep this recording short, they're not really forced to listen to it in order to, to, to keep up and we won't be blocked from starting to um, do some of the legwork mm -hmm. and planning. Cool. All right, hey, all right, cool. So all right. Uh, who, who wants, actually, um, I'll go ahead and create that for now. And then- um, And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll all populate it, right? I that's imagine. right. Yeah. Okay. Let me know if someone can't access that. Um, I believe all of the, um, you all should, and if you can't, let me know. We'll sort it out. Cool. All right, so I'm just going to put that as an action item for myself. Um, or actually, Christian, if you don't mind putting that for me since you're helping with notes. Yeah, yeah, I, I actually, I, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm there. I'm on there. Awesome. <laughs> this is worth on it. Well. All right. <laughs> the second thing is, um, doesn't I have? I can address what you asked about briefly uh, regarding Dan and this. Oh, uh huh. It's it may not be fully up to date, but we had a a a, a co chairs meeting a few days ago, and I can at least I can at least mention where it was then. It, yeah, high level. Uh -huh. be out of date now. Would that be good? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so in short, so, subject to change, right? Uh, great. Asterisk, subject, everyone who is watching, subject to change. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Subject to already have changed possibly, but essentially, Dan is still working with CNCF on sponsorships, and that is the okay. very short bumper sticker version that we probably we should probably leave it at for now. But the point of it is to make it easier for for people to support this project without necessarily having to, you know, say become like a, a, a KubeCon diamond sponsor or something. Gotcha. You know? uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, cool. So wheels are in motion. So that sounds good. Wheels are in motion and that's being, it's being worked out. So we'll just keep every or Dan will keep us all posted when he's back. Cool. Um, the other thing I should mention, uh, also, I don't see any, let me just make sure, were there any other agenda items on here that I skipped? No, I don't see any, but just also stop me because I don't wanna overtake this, but I, I do have something else I could say from that meeting, if that's helpful, um, about how the events committee and the website work can work together. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, uh, Okay, well, in, in short, um, there, there are some of the missing, some of the pieces that are in the current plan for, for the current proposal for the website that Dan has up in a GitHub discussion, and there's a link to the Google Docs that have the Git website proposal. I just encourage, um, people on this call may have already looked at it, but I encourage uh, anyone who might be listening to this recording later to also have a look at that because, um, uh, you know, it, it can be, it can rapidly change. But what we discussed was that um, I left some comments on the uh, Figma, which were about um, what kind of language we can, like what kind of language you already have that we're using to describe open GitOps and the GitOps work and like the role of the GitOps working group within that project. Um, we also discussed, um, you know, you, using the open GitOps logo and not the GitOps working group logo for the open GitOps website. And like just kind of sticking with the open GitOps color scheme that we have now. Yeah. Not, I, I mean, we all love the purple and we love the GitOps logo, mm -hmm. working group logo, but it's kind of like that probably should, if, it, if it's there at all, it should only be there probably just for. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is getting a little bit outside of the event scope, but the, but the main point is that there are pieces, including the events that we'll want there. And the, and the, the thing is, like a number of different files that need to be on the website are already hosted in repos in, open, in the open GitOps repo, mm, okay. including a file right now until we move it, until Leo and I move it over, that is, is, is governance, is like how open GitOps is currently governed. So that file is actually in the GitOps working group repo still, but for now. But so those, rather than the website kind of reproducing all that stuff and potentially immediately being out of sync, you know, um, the idea is that those could slurp the website could just essentially use those files like other projects do for documentation and, and bring those in yeah. so that if we do need to update it for the website, we may as well just update the actual file itself. Yeah, that, make, that makes a lot of sense. And it's going to be a whole lot easier if anything changes through one of these meetings. 
then no one has to deal with the website. That yeah. just happens. And the main the main purpose of this is I'm not trying to like in any way steal Dan's thunder about that. I mean, he's <laughs> it was so wonderful that they're doing that like they stepped up to have to have someone donate some time to help get that up quickly. So that's great. Um, mm. The idea is it should be in a in an okay place this week, but I'm you know we'll see. Um, we can check in with Dan and see that because he's really leading that charge. Um, but how it relates to the events committee is that like we have not yet started the metadata file with all the events mm. for um, I both that GitOps working group is organizing or that the Open GitOps project is ultimately connected to or yeah. or and other events within the the, the 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 wider GitOps ecosystem that we already agreed is we should be mm -hmm. we should be promoting and, and and connecting to. So we should add an action item to that I'm thinking. Yep. Or, does the does the people doing the actual work on the website have any opinions on the formatting or is I it guess. just if we want to write markdown then you know cool? Not yet. Yeah. Huh. So we should what we said we should just stick with what Dan said last time. What we said last time is that just what you said, Robert. We yeah. we go with whatever is the easiest for us for now, the most readable. And if the website's like, hey, I need, I really prefer this in JSON format, we could be like, yeah. cool. No problem. But no matter what, it's just some format that users can um, make open a PR to have yeah. their listed. And then the events committee can look at that and say, oh, this, you know, this doesn't really make sense for GitOps or, hey, maybe mm. go back to check out the GitOps principles, you know, and, mm. um, or add, this looks more like a, like a, like a, um, you know, like, like a product promo thing and not so yeah. much, a, uh, you know, or whatever. Or we're like, yeah, that, that makes perfect sense for, this wider movement and you know it, that seems to be within our purview and we can discuss it with people so we're not kind of lording over them but we are trying to curate things that make sense together so that it's not just confusing the the whole pool of folks that want to follow what's going on in the world of GitOps. Hmm. so when it relates to um the the website right um i i imagine we're gonna have a space for events right it's gonna be like what um you know open dot dev or whatever slash events, right? Like, are we going to have like a, and then if so, um, I guess that would be maintained by the community. Like if I think we should, you know, if something's, uh, you know, up and coming and I, uh, you know, we, we think it, it should be promoted. I just need to make a PR to that. Um, like how, how does, how do, how do, so I guess, let me back up. My actual question is how do I get content onto the website? Uh, like either do I make a PR or do I just make an issue and just kind of just do a text dump um and me specifically this is specifically not asking gen generically but also because i think you know events come and go and we should you know that that one page is gonna be pretty active i think hopefully i, I mean that's the hope right you know it, it stays pretty active so. exactly exactly so so here's the design i'm just linking to the design proposal issue in in this chat um there's there's a this, so there's like two links. There's design mm -hmm. and structure. And design is the Figma actual design of what uh, the, the designer mm -hmm. is thinking it, it will. This, this is like Net, Netlify or whatever. Gotcha. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of. just, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's actually just just like a, a collaborative design tool that you can. Uh, like mock-up, gotcha. Yeah, you can make comments on as well. So my glass comments, I don't think have been, um, I think if you log in, you can see the comments and, and leave comments. Hmm. So that's, and I guess reply to comments. So, so that's, it's like Google Docs. No, that's, that's not possible. Oh, it's not possible? <laughs> I think I, I, it's probably is possible. I'm just oh, saying okay. that jokingly to that. Okay. Okay, cool. I, I was like, I hope so. Um, <laughs> I thought, I thought so. Uh, yeah, it, case, it probably is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's meant to be very collaborative and I, and I, and I believe it's very usable. So, so far when I tried, I don't think I, anyway, so far when I tried, I was able to leave comments and, um, and I don't think they've been addressed quite yet, but I believe they will be this week as the plan. Um, but anyway, the, I mentioned that's just to guide you through the, or excuse me, to introduce you to this uh, GitHub issue. And then this, and then the structure is a Google doc that then links to other Google docs as well. So under architecture, there are 
additional docs that those link to. Like homepage about community, get involved, event, events is the one that's really relevant to this meeting. Mm -hmm. So I think, I believe last time when we said mark, Markdown, or we, I, I believe we said we would just do like a simple like Markdown table. So it's readable by people and it's easy to, to edit for now. And then if they need us to change it, we will. I, yeah. to, to be honest, it shouldn't be that hard to, you know, if it's, if it's, you know, a uh, headline two for every event name and headline three for whatever, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then, yeah. you know, yeah. a, a computer should be able to figure that out if you just tell right. it to. <laughs> right. Yeah. And I so hope. the good thing is we're not really, the events committee isn't really, it's not really not blocked by the website efforts. The website is just one more. The idea here is that the website will be, be one more channel and probably the most visible one for people to, to go to and always see the updated events list. Also Twitter and yeah. Hmm. Um, I don't have anything else. I just wanted to update you on that. And plus it seems like that's pretty relevant from last week's chat. And in lieu of Dan being here, I, at least we met, we all, we, the, me, Dan and Leo met about that. So at least I can convey that part and then he can update you on like where it's really at. Let me chat next. Uh, seeing as we have the uh, principal meeting as well, uh, I think we need to, you know, stay, stay the full duration just to to stay the full duration. Yeah. Um, and I think then we'll, I think we're good for this week. I don't have anything yeah. else. Yeah. Okay. Um, and, great. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, then let's go ahead. I, I don't. I think it doesn't sound like Damani had anything pressing, just just uh, just showing up and being participating. So thank you, Damani, and uh, nice to see you all. I'll see you at the- No problem, thanks everyone. Cool, man. All right, I'll see you all at the principal's meeting then. All right. Leaders. Bye. Bye.